2022 Bowman draft released today. A pretty good checklist. I think missing is obviously Drew Jones, Andrew Jones' kid for uh, the Diamondbacks. And uh, so all signs obviously point to him being in 2023 Bowman Um, because that's typically what Topps does is they hold out either. I think it's been the second pick a lot. It's been the first picks in Bowman draft, the second pick gets you know going going on the bowman so uh you'll see him in uh the regular bowman uh but you you, you got a lot of big names you've you've got uh you've got obviously uh jackson holiday you've got jamar johnson you've got uh you know elijah green from the nationals uh who's that on the is that cross on the left there yeah gavin cross who that guy's starting to get a lot of buzz from a lot of baseball insiders a lot of guys who have been watching him so gavin cross a guy on the royals uh like a surprise success for the Royals, um, played for the the amateur team USA team and was the standout guy. So kind of like came on the radar. Was not a high school prospect. Uh, goes to college and becomes a massive star in college. A uh, part of Team USA, I believe, uh, for the uh, yeah, from, like the uh, the summer amateur yeah, Team yeah. USA team that they for. have. But yeah, it's 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 holiday. It's holidays. The guy, him and Jones. It's really one A and one B. Uh, Jones probably has more potential. I, I know he was more hyped up as like the cannot miss guy. The Orioles, I think, maybe wanted more signability, the easier signability with with Holiday and a better positional fit. Um, so they went with him instead. But I mean, it was like, yeah, yeah, you can't go wrong. Like, and I think we talked about it before the the show started. Uh, the real question. Yeah, got, who, got who's the guy on the Angels? It looks like Dan's brother, actually. The, <laughs> the real question is, whose dad's better? Exactly. Andrew Jones or Matt Holliday? That's Matt now, Holliday. look. No, uh, Andrew Jones. That is, know. like, if you were. Oh, no, Jones. Andrew Jones Andrew is Andrew Jones better, like, a, a better, better daddy. Right. Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> uh, pull up baseball reference. Look, you know, there's. Uh, I mean, Matt Holiday was like a solid. Matt Holiday is borderline. A solid, oh, solid all star. Yeah. You know, every seven time all star for. Uh, He's, for he him. was very good. A, a, a great A. Great. A great A. I mean, I mean, who can who who doesn't <laughs> remember like that? A, like great A beef. No, just no A is athletics. Yeah. Great. Great Oakland Athletic. Look, I don't know if you guys have heard the term. Seven days. The term recently, a uh, nepo baby. That's the thing going around right now, and baseballs. I full think of we're gonna get. Right I think we're gonna get uh, blocked for that. No, what no say? nepotism. <laughs> like nepotism, baby, nepo baby. It's now a thing. We're not getting. <laughs> we're getting blocked. <laughs> Look, get your head out of the gutter. Uh, but it's a thing, and now baseball's full of them. It's it's uh, Vlad Guerrero, uh, Fernando Tatis, and then uh, now Jackson Holiday. And then explain said, to me what it, it just means. Uh, uh, now we we, we 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 can't talk about it anymore. It went too far. <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> As in nepotism, you know, where like somebody, if you had a family member in the industry, then you get an advantage in that industry in baseball celebrities. It's a thing in Hollywood right now where there's tons of young actors of uh, who are the children of celebrities are, are all big right now uh, in baseball. It's the same thing. It's all happening again in baseball as well. So, what okay. celebrities are big that have? Oh, gosh. What is that? The, that girl from uh, from uh, what's that show that's really big on HBO that I can't think Zendaya's in it. It's not Zendaya. It's not what I'm thinking of. The one where they're doing all the drugs and everything. You oh, know. euphoric, the, the, euphoric. Yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, Bruce Willis's kids. Yeah, uh, 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 yeah. The daughter of uh, Judd Apatow is on oh, that show. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Mod, uh, Mod, Mod Apatow. Dennis Quaid and Meg Ryan's son. Denzel Washington's son. I know uh, Denzel Washington. He's in a lot of stuff. Yeah. The so, Wayans brothers. Yeah, exactly. There's a, there's a lot out there. How well they have one Wayans. Yeah, yeah. There. Damon That's... Wayans Jr. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot out there, right? Yeah. Schwarzenegger. Yeah, exactly. They're all. No, I think he has. Didn't really sound like there was a lot out there. There's <laughs> more. <laughs> Trust me, there's more. There's a lot. There's a lot of them. But yeah, yeah baseball so, is. is but baseball film. Ba- baseball. Baseball, baseball by far has more. Su- uh, it's like your dad was a baseball player. You're a baseball You're a baseball player. player. Yeah. My, yeah. my daddy's a baseball player. My daddy's daddy was a baseball player. My daddy's daddy's daddy was a baseball player. I'm yeah. a baseball player. Well, you know what was the funny thing? We were like, we did two cases uh, this morning, um, of, and you've probably seen some of these players. There were so many threes, like the third. We pulled like four yes. guys that were the third. I like, noticed that too. Blah, 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 the third. Uh, Douglas Hodo, the second. Like, it was like, 
a lot of of uh, you know same name guys. Could also be Junior. Could be. Could, uh, Could be. be. And we second. didn't even bring up like Elijah Green, who uh, is yeah, not. Yeah, I the, I actually yeah. just learned that before we went live. He's not Eric Green's kid. He is Eric Green. Yeah. Oh yes, yes. Yeah. yes. I just took a guess. <laughs> yeah. He's Eric Green, a former and NFL Pro Bowl tight end. And, Eric and Green. I don't remember Eric Green. He went, went to a Pro Bowl. So he was. I mean, he's so again. Steelers. It's 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 Eric Green. Yeah, big pad, uh, big pad days. Yep, uh, like yep. Jerome Bettis era. Got bigger. a little bit before. Oh, well, uh, Pro Bowl 93-94. So yeah, yeah and he's he's got elite how power. Did, and how speed. did you know who Eric Green is? <sighs> I must have had him on my fantasy team back in the day. No, you didn't. You didn't in 1993. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we had to write it in pen. Um. Yeah, he played for Pittsburgh, Miami, Baltimore, and ended his career in 1999 with the Jets. Eric so. Green. Okay. Yep. So his son, Elijah, who has got elite power and speed. He's on the Nationals. He's one of the most highly touted guys. Uh, I was I put him on here. Zach Neto is a guy I think that people should look at. 13th overall pick, but he's Who's old. his dad? Oh, don't know. <laughs> Mr. Neto. <laughs> Mr. Neto. Hey, so you know what? <laughs> Big underdog story here. His dad didn't play baseball. Well, we don't know. We don't know. We well, don't we had to look up Lo- we had to look up Locklear too, just to make sure. Not Heather Locklear's kid? Not not related. Okay. No, no. Uh but he he already is in double A and uh, he just got drafted, so that he could be the first guy up. Of this class, I really like Tamar Johnson of the Pirates. Just like a maybe the best pure hitter in the draft. Pirates what? have a lot of what's, good young. What's the first name? Tamar. Tamar. Yeah, Tamar Johnson. Tamar. Yeah, we we pulled him. Yep. Yeah. he was a redemption. We he's him. redemption. We pulled yeah. him. Well, he's just blue. We pulled Gavin him Cross the, also a redemption. The mood. This. The mood ring parallel. What okay. do you know about it? So that's the thing. So that's what it was. Because I pulled it a couple times. I'm like, is this got to be a case hit? I've it's, never seen this one. I believe it's one per case. Some cases may have two. But, yeah, we on average, we're getting one per case. And it's the mood ring parallel. Okay. Mood ring. I pulled a Zach Neto and a Gavin Cross mood ring parallel. I, right. you know, I can't get over uh, The guy I'm invested in is Ivan Melendez, the Hispanic Titanic. I mean, when you have Great a name. nickname already like that. For one, I don't know how he was a Golden Spikes Award winner and he was drafted in the second round. But Hispanic Titanic, the Diamondbacks. It's like you don't even need Drew Jones. The guy that I'm really chasing. Jerpy. 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 That's a good one. (laughs) Be careful if you're breaking it. Melendez (laughs) is exciting, too. Yeah, and that's such a, like, the the organization diamondbacks are just like so full of great young talent they right do. now it's they they ridiculous. i think they you, might be the most stacked team in, in all of baseball i mean I, if if you are i mean it's your talent wise first baseball card and you have a nickname you're ascending like you're 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 going to ma- i mean he he should and right now in this market he probably should be a top 10 selling prospect in in this release just based on nickname alone. I think outside of those top 10, 15 guys drafted, Melendez, one of those guys I think will do well. Yes, the 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 nickname and the awards. Reggie Crawford, I know we're Giant-centric, but like Reggie Crawford being a two-way player that a lot of folks were saying, boy, this guy has the potential to be one of the most exciting didn't, guys. Didn't I think that he'll guy, do well. Didn't that guy win the Golden Spikes Award? Yes, and I actually just brought that up. And, and how, I mean, you look through, and Doug's probably going to talk about it, but When's the last time a Golden Spikes Award winner went in the second round? Yeah. Well, Kevin Copps won it last year. He's a pitcher in the Padres organization, and he went in the third round. So hmm. maybe the Golden Spikes is starting to fall off. But if you go back, they didn't have one in 2020 for obvious reasons. But then you have Adley Rushman in 2019. You have Pretty Andrew good. Vaughn, 2018. You have Had Brendan McKay, 2017. 2016, Kyle Lewis. 2015, Andrew Benatendi. 2014, A.J. Reed. That might not have panned out. 2013, Chris Bryant. 2012, Mike Zunino. 2011, Trevor Bauer. Didn't really, really work out. I mean, but at the 20, 2010, least. Bryce Harper. Will, Strasburg, but, but Posey. When you, when you say didn't work, I mean – Every single one that you, every single player you said basically made the majors. Exactly. That, that's, kind, that's kind of working AJ out. AJ Reed was the worst one and he saw big league. Yeah. Events. I mean, yeah. out of everybody, everybody made the majors. Except for obviously the last, last yeah. two guys that are still in the minors, but. Um, yeah. Posey won. Yeah. You say Posey won golden spikes for yeah, sure. Right? Posey won. Yeah. And so did uh, Linscombe, uh, David Price, uh, Alex Gordon. 
Mark Pryor, Pat Burrell, and a lot of, Drew. and it's not just I that these guys only, made it. I would only, like, I would only draft the Golden Spike yeah. Award winner. It's Will like Clark. It's not just that they the made Nishler. it. All these guys had good careers for the most part. They all had, I, I mean, from everything from Hall of Fame to perennial All Star to like, hey, they're they're a serviceable big leaguer. I they, mean, they they're uh, baseball is the hardest to to scout. I mean, there's a lot of first rounders that never sniffed the big leagues. Actually, to be fair, now the Golden Spikes Award has only started in 78, but I don't think there's a Hall of Famer yet. So, um, okay. Dave Maggot and Will, Will Clark, Jim Abbott, Robin Ventura, but F- do, Phil these Nevin, are all, Jason Veritek. Actually, count count the All-Star games, though. A lot yeah, there's of All-Star a lot. games. There's a lot. A lot of All-Star games. I mean, Bryce Harper. Uh, any of these guys Hall of Famers yet? Bryce Harper, not a Hall of Famer yet? Tim- oh, he's pretty close. Harper's going to Hall of Famer. Tim Fame. Lincecum. No, no. T- Timmy won't. Cy he, Young he didn't play long enough. He didn't. Mark Pryor, no. no. Pat Burrell, obviously not. No. Uh, Isn't Mark, J- Mark Pryor J- is pitching coach? He's for pitching coach for the, Dod- Dod- over the Dodgers now. Dodgers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jason Veritek, not a Hall of Famer. No, right? no. great no. player. Great. So we're still waiting for our first uh, Golden Spikes Hall of Famer. Yeah. Nonetheless, these are guys who I, I will. Yeah. I will take. I will take that team. That whole Golden Spikes thing, I will take that team. I think there's a lot of people who would say, hey, that catcher you're drafting who won <coughs> Golden Spikes, they're going to be Jason Veritek. You'd be like, that's great. Great. Awesome. That's good. Yeah. Awesome. We got a catcher for the next decade. Yeah. But if you also, if you look at these and uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's a good idea to invest in any Golden Spikes player personally, but like you look at where they played college at. So this is also another thing. If you get drafted out of high school, obviously you're not going to win Golden Spikes. How did, but, Har- how did Harper win it though? Cause he, he went to like what he played community college. Yeah. They actually have him as the college of Southern Nevada. Yeah, he like he did community college, right? Like they may have made an exception for him. Like <laughs> so he, he he's the him. only one off because you look at like the colleges here: Oregon State, Cal, Louisville, Arkansas, Kentucky, Vanderbilt. I mean, Long Beach. I mean, these are all baseball college powerhouses, right? So yeah, Bryce Harper might have been the exception that year. Well, and then you got Strasburg, San Diego State. I don't know if that's a big. I mean, they Gwynn was a, there at the yeah, time. Yeah, they had a moment there where when Tony Gwynn went there, they became a baseball school for a little bit. Yeah. So, interesting. But get your, uh, get your Bowman draft spots at some great content. That's just really killing it right now. We are. We're <laughs> going in the uh, time machine of Golden Spikes winners. You said that like sarcastically. I, no, I actually, I, it was it was sincere. I, mean, I was gonna is, I was gonna pat myself on the no, back. No, I mean this is this is this is a good episode. Nobody brings <laughs> Golden Spikes content in December better than Mojo Break. That's right. Nobody does it and ties it into sports cards quite like Mojo Break the hype. 